Kids, match number five. Coming out first from Bordertown, Pennsylvania, weighing 192 pounds, Grand Akuma. Up next, one of the more anticipated matches what we have here at Russell Gym 10. Grant Akuma, formerly of the uh, trio Fist and Shikara, will take on the returning Kid Mikaze. Akuma, no stranger to Russell Jam. Neither is Mikazi. These two actually competed against each other at a previous Russell Gym. Mikazi picking up the win there. Akuma demanded this match tonight to get some revenge. Solidly behind Mikazi in his homecoming to Connecticut. Ron, you've known Mikazi for years. Uh, what kind of strategy is Akuma going to be looking to do to pull out that elusive victory? Akuma's going to ground him. Mikazi is just so fast and so quick. You don't know what's going to come from where. And on the opposite, Mikazi's got to stay away from the power. Kuma's definitely got the strength in this advantage. Kuma also very, also fast, also unpredictable. This is going to be an interesting match. I'm excited for this match. Both men tie up in the center. Changing wrist locks, Akuma rolls through, nip up, hammer locks Mikazi. Mikazi with a side headlock. Like I said, these two have met before. Shoulder tackle. Mikazi with an arm drag. So fast. Akuma returns the favor. Hurricane Rana takes over Gran Akuma, who rolls to the outside to catch his breath. He's got to be careful there. He might not be safe. That's not the best place with Mikazi. Mikazi kicks to the back, slides through. What a fantastic move. Head scissors takes him over. A rolling head scissors. Never seen that. And you'll probably see five more moves you've never seen before with Mikazi. Throwing Akuma back in, going for that cover. Might be too early here. Gonna have to do a lot more to keep Akuma down. Kazi locking in that grounded abdominal stretch on Gran Akuma. He's going for another pin. Rolls over, keeps him tied up. Got the, looking for that other arm. Great deal of pressure on both arms there. And he's got no physical way to tap out. Shot to the gut. And a forearm right to the jaw by Mikazi. Kuma charges in, catches both boots. Looking at powerbomb. 
Ooh, drops I've Mikazi. never seen a power bomb onto a knee before. Mikazi's got to be hurting here. And now Akumo with the abdominal stretch on Mikazi. Really wrenching in that abdominal stretch and it kicks at the back. Akuma the aggressor here. As he tries to wear down Mikazi. Ties up both those legs. Shots to the back. Rolls back. Rolls back again. Mikazi Almost a surfboard. A lot of pain here. Almost a surfboard here, locking the arms. Mikazi has no way to get out of this. Kuma just kicking him off. That's one way out. Grant Akuma stalking Mikazi. Maybe going for that power bomb across the D again. Into a gory special. Things not looking well for Mikazi. See the shoulders just pulling apart from Mikazi. This is just arrogance here from Grant Akuma. And he pays for it because he arm dragging him out of it. On the back with that sleeper hold. Doesn't have it under the chin. He doesn't have it locked totally yet. Kuma drives it back into the corner, but Mikazi still hangs on. Once more back into the corner, but Mikazi will not release Every that hold. Every time he goes back, it gets tighter and tighter under his chin. Backstabber. Both knees right to the back of Akuma. It's the referee, Holio Joe. Administers the 10 count. I think we established this already. I don't think Joe can count the 10. Oh, look at that. He went past four. He might prove me wrong tonight. Both men back on their feet. Mikazi with a pair of clothes lines. Akuma avoids the contact. Now he locks in that waist lock. Mukazi fires back. Waist lock of his own. Akuma holds onto the ropes as Mukazi rolls back. Rob kick to the knee. Mahi straw pin. Not enough to keep Gran Akuma down. Mukazi sends Akuma off into the corner. Cartwheel. Back elbow misses. Akuma with that enziguri to the back of the head. Now we climb into the top rope. What's he gonna do here? Drop kick right to the back of the Drop kick to the back of the head. That's gotta be it. Akazi's in trouble here. He's got gotta mount something. He can pull something together. Pump handle by, by Akuma. Sits out with it. Kazi will not give up. He doesn't want to lose here in his homecoming to Connecticut. It's his first match back in years. Kuma measuring Mikazi, looking to hit those kicks, and he does. A second kick. Really teeing off on Mikazi here. Seeming to have no effect. You want to go foot to foot with Mikazi? I don't think so. Corkscrew kick by Mikazi. Might be going for that Ninja Star press, uh, Ninja Star senton here. Trademark move. That's what it is. He hits it. The Ninja Star senton. This has got to be it. One, two. 
I don't know how Akuma was able to kick out of that. Mikazi grabs the head, Akuma with the waist slap, but Mikazi fights back with those elbows. A back kick from Akuma, kicks him to the front of the face. Akuma fires up off the ropes. Mikazi trying to leapfrog, but Akuma catches him on his shoulders. Death Valley driver. Mikazi still refuses to give up. I don't think I've ever seen anybody roll through with a Death Valley driver before. Kuma now bring Mikazi into position. Appears to be going to the top rope for something. But at this point, it's anybody's guess what it is. Moonsault. This is with the big moonsault. This might just be the opening Mikazi's been looking for. Does he have enough in to capitalize now, though? Series of reversals, Mikazi with the waist lock. Kuma through the legs. Tombstone pile driver situation. Try to drive the knees into the face, but Mikazi reverses it with a Hurricane Rana. Tornado DDT. Mikazi crawls over and a kick out. Unbelievable resilience here. Neither men want to lose this match. As he grabs the head. Back into the tombstone from Akuma. When Mikazi reverses it into a tombstone of his own, Akuma reverses again. Akuma is going to look to drive the knees right into Mikazi's face here, but Mikazi fight it off. Thought Mikazi was going to break free of that. There it is. Trademark Akuma driving the knees right to the face, and that's it. Hard fought battle by both men. Getting that, getting that win back, that, he, that elusive win. Will we see a rubber back? Tied up 1 1. You know, Mikazi has nothing to be ashamed of tonight. He fought like a warrior and could have gone either way. It's Akuma gets the hair. I want you to probably know, I was originally scheduled to wrestle Harry Smith tonight. On the opportunity to accept the Kazi's open challenge to present itself, I had to say yes. For a lot of people, wrestlers and wrestling fans alike don't know it's crazy. But don't we have the opportunity to wrestle an ex WWE superstar? But don't we have the opportunity to wrestle the son of a legend? But don't we have the opportunity to wrestle a dream opponent? And I pass it up. Now, judging by the way you guys sounded tonight, I think you're going to probably kind of pour the roof off the floor. So people might be able to tell you that I didn't wrestle any WWE superstar right now. People might be able to tell you that I didn't wrestle any WWE superstar right Stating that he and Mikazi tore the roof off this place tonight and the crowd obviously agrees. 
sign of respect from both men. But the question remains, will we see a rubber match at a future WrestleDown?